Hi Kim, welcome in. Thank you for clocking in today on time. But welcome in. I almost forgot to unmute. <laughs> Bro, you know when you be texting people paragraphs and then they put like a three word response? <laughs> Me right now. No, I'm not the one sending a lackluster response. I'm I'm a good friend. <laughs> Cuz um I'll I'll talk about this later, but I was talking to my friend about like how, why is there no autocorrect? on what you call it like on your computer hi crystal and i was like well if you think about it like all the apps on your phone there's different okay because you type differently for an email than like texting and i noticed on different apps there's um like it'll auto correct differently so i think that's why there's no like standard auto correct for your device like for your computer i don't know also, peace I2 yo is a follower emote. We're not being exclusionary anymore, so the non-sub plebs can put peace I2 yo in the chat now. I also want you guys to say hi, and I think possibly new chatters might use peace I2 yo. We'll wait another minute. <clears throat> oh, anyway, so like I was talking to them, but like, oh, you know, it's AI based, so I think that's why. And then they said, oh, I see. Oh my god, hi, Taylor! It worked! First time chatter. Can we get some yo's? Um, if you have any preferred nicknames or opponents, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. <clears throat> so I was like, what do I say? They said, because I was I went on those like whole spiel about why I, I'm theorizing that is like not possible. And they're like, oh, okay, I see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. What do I do? I'm just gonna say that's my theory. <laughs> and then I'll tell them that I'm gonna be live so I can't text back right away. Okay. <laughs> Hashtag first world problems, am I right? Also, I have a new tweet. Go like it, everybody. We're live a little bit early today because I just want to get shit done because I have so many cards to do. You'll see them all. <laughs> Face cam turns on at 50 minutes. Okay, okay. I was browsing the disc. I'll turn face cam on. It's been a minute. Oopsie. Face reveal? Holy. Hello. <laughs> um, hi, everybody. Welcome in. Um... Oh wait, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well today. No face cam because we're doing art today. Hi Mag. The thing is back? What thing? Your mom? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I keep on looking at the computer, but my mic is over here. I should move my mic. That thing on the stream- Oh, it, it's because the way I capture the PNG tuber model, it- it- Because, like, I have to rotoscope the green screen, so whenever I put my cursor- Yeah, because those are the different setting options. I just gotta be careful. I don't know why that's popping up, because it's not- uh, Anyway, I just- I just can't move my mouse. What was I saying? Oh yeah, good morning, good afternoon. We had Taylor, Mac, and Kim, and Crystal for chatting in the Just Starting Scoon. Thank you guys for chatting and saying hello. Um... I hate- why is that coming on screen? That's actually gonna annoy the fuck out of me. Thank you for the lurk. Today, the plan is simple. We are update. oh, there's the shadow from the mic now. Never mind, I hate that. Hate that. We are updating our follower calligraphy journal. So if you follow the channel, I will write your name today. Also, chatters, I have 666 followers now. Uh-oh, that's kind of scary. Oh, no. I think... Okay, what also sucks is that I will gain, like, a good handful of followers every month, but then I lose a fuck ton. <laughs> that's why it looks like we only gained five, but we gained, like, 20 this month. Oopsie. Um, so we're gonna update the follower journal. We have, like, ugh, probably 10, 15 names to write. And then we're gonna be doing... Um, portrait cards. If you don't know what portrait cards are, exclamation card in chat, pip, peep, the pin message. Anybody who 
gifts, five subs during any calendar month does get a portrait card drawn. Um, some of these cards are from- Oh wait, Mac, Mac, you're in chat. Is this okay? Is this funny? The, the joke is you're doing peace I two yo's and then there's little text bubbles. And it says, yo, my name is Mac and I fucked your mom with expletive signs and then a kissing emoji. Do you think that's funny? <laughs> I want I want it to be artsy this month. Um, and then I have because we have three cards for Titans, three for Mac, one for Kolboba, one for Keelan. And I, I definitely went more stylized with some of the cards, so I'm gonna try and get as many done as I can today, but we'll see. Um the reason why I didn't stream on Friday is because I was really sad and my body was like I was in paralysis. It was bad. So I was in bed all fucking weekend and like I did I was able to do some computer work like yesterday like I was editing and then but I I just couldn't stream so but you know what I'm here today I'm feeling good I think hope you feel better no it's a terminal fucking disability no, I'm sorry I need to be positive it'll be fine I'm gonna start PT soon I'm seeing my doctor this week so Everything- Whoa, what is that vein? Holy- <laughs> Hi, Keelan. Chat face reveal? Yeah, honestly. Oh, no, I smudged one. Oh, that's great, Mac. That's great. I- I'm like- Okay, let's- Wait, I was gonna talk about earlier. So I was browsing Twitch Discover ya yesterday, and there was this one stream that said, Unmuting my mic at 40 viewers! And obviously it's like a shtick this guy does because it was all- I don't remember the fucking channel name, but it was like in their about section and shit too. But it was so funny because they were averaging like 25 to 30 viewers, but they were just like dancing to music the whole time, just muted. And it was so funny. <laughs> I didn't follow or anything because I- Because like, it's obviously a gimmick to get people to click on the stream and it fucking worked because I clicked on the goddamn stream. What a good bit. Yeah, should we do shit like that? Guys, I will do a face reveal at a hundred subs. I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, I gotta get a scrunchie. Welcome in, everybody. Because, <laughs> like, since I couldn't get out of bed, I didn't, like, wash up this whole weekend, so I finally, like, washed my hair. And it's genuinely so pretty today, but no face cam. Unless we hit a hundred subs. <laughs> I'm kidding. Guys, if you're new, I'm trolling. Chad, am I trolling? Type 1. Okay, enough stalling. Let's get started. Let's get started. <sighs> okay. Also, what's interesting is I've been... A few of my, like, short videos... Or like my TikTok clips, they've been related to um, like socialist policies. Like, you know, I posted a clip of me talking about how utilities should be free. I posted a clip of me talking about how you should advocate for those in poor circumstances. Like just basic like socialist shit, right? People don't like that. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. So... What's interesting, too, is that the algorithm didn't push them as much. And on my YouTube shorts feed... Oh, I also posted a clip yesterday that was called The Teacher Shortage. Um, what's interesting is that the comments got automatically disabled. And the only time that happens, if you're like a... Miss you guys, smile. Hope everyone has been well. Sorry for being gone for a while. Ha ha. <laughs> That's okay, Nyx. Hi, Nyx. Can we get some Wixes in chat? Hello. Don't worry about it. You know, shit happens. Sorry, I laughed because the TTS saying haha was really funny to me. But hi, Nyx. And a prime sub only. Wait, Nyx has a flower badge now. That's nine months. Wait, Nyx, type in chat. You have a new badge. <clears throat> it really went ha <laughs> Hi, Nyx. <laughs> yeah, flower gang. Flower <laughs> Wait, is I should not do hand signals. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta actually work. So, what happens is, like, any time that I talk about, like, fucking socialist basic policies in a clip on YouTube, the comments got automatically disabled, which means that somebody fucking reported the video. If your comments get automatically dinged, or if it's, like, a 
demonetizable topic, which I guess fucking socialism is. But it's funny. And okay, 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 okay. I don't like to blast people, but some of the comments I got were interesting. Wait, I need to actually pull it up. Chatters, go follow my TikTok. Go follow my TikTok. There was one that I found like really interesting because usually whenever I talk about anything like politics related, um, there's some like fucking debate Andes, and that's fine. Cause the way I see it, um, <clears throat> you need to like, it's on this clip. Utility should be free. Let us hear your phone. No. Uh oh. <laughs> Uh, so basically, you cannot be too combative because if you're too combative when you talk to politics about anybody, um, they're gonna not be respect receptive. So you have to be kind. You can't just be like fuck calling them fucking stupid. So on this utility should be free clip. I was talking about how um, is that main or the side? What? I I don't get it. What? I okay, I genuinely don't understand what you mean. Is that main or the- Your- What? Th this is my social media phone. I'm not showing my other phone. Um, what was I saying? So, yeah, so in this clip I was basically saying how, like, water and electricity should be paid for by the government because those are essential things to live. Yes, I do have two phones and I have two laptops. I'm rich. <laughs> Guys, it's so stupid. Okay, so I'm basically saying the government should provide for those things because if you don't have water, you will literally die. And if you don't have electricity, um, you most likely will fucking die. Like, prime example, during the ice storms and the massive heat waves that we're having, if you don't have AC, you're gonna fucking boil or freeze to death in your house. Um, oh, like side bitches, like burner phones. Oh, <laughs> no, I have no bitches. I'm on my incel art, guys. I'm not fucking anybody. Why did that take so long to click? I feel like you guys have made that joke before. Okay, okay. So I personally think everything should be provided by the government. There's too much privatization. It's fucked. So the- I, Wait, did I- I only got two comments on this video. It was cringe. Um, so one comment says, Water, yes, but I'm iffy about electricity. And then I replied, Why not? It's essential for food preservation, fridge and freezer, shelter, AC or heating. Medical equipment, like the people who have like dialysis machines or people who are in like, uh, who need electricity to fucking live. Um, think about how much of your daily tasks need power. And then they replied a day later, you can live without electricity. Electricity is a privilege. Water is essential. I really wanted to reply back, like, you dumb little bitch. Have your mom take your goddamn phone away for a day. But I was like, nah. I was like, nah. Because like... <clears throat> You can't drink, but you can freeze to death? Yeah, it's like... It, electricity is so essential in, like, a modern society. Like, places that don't have electricity or running water are considered third world. So if you essentially don't have those amenities, you are living in third world conditions. That's why, um... <clears throat> uh, in America, there's so much, like, discrepancy between your quality of life because some people live in well-populated... Um, well infrastructured areas, but then some people don't. A water pump can't function without electricity? Wait, what? Oh, dude, fuck this guy. Okay, and then, and then another fucking... I think this other person is a child, and they don't get it. Um, this person says, but the problem with that is that independent companies run it, and they would have no income. Okay, that is a fucking either brain-dead take, or you're a fucking libertarian. And then I said... Then there would have to be less privatization. That's what causes so much lack of regulation and exploitation. We need national government reform. And then they replied, like, immediately. Um, but if we have that, then taxes would have to go up, making the person still have to pay for it. Which is a valid take, and it's a very... Um... Misconstrued... Opinion, because a lot of people immediately... <laughs> not smarter than a 5th grader. <laughs> this person could actually be a fucking 5th grader, though. <laughs> Um, but if the government budget is used appropriately and taxes are actually used for government subsidies, then it will work. So that's what I basically said. I said, valid point, taxes are intended for all the for the government to provide services for all, so if done right, it'll allow for folks to not have to worry about missing large utilities and not have their basic needs met. Coming from struggle or not, you should always advocate for those in lesser circumstances. And they like those two reply comments. Um, 
I don't know why I went on that side tangent. It's just like I have another like I have another tweet draft. I haven't written a single fucking name and we're 17 minutes in. <laughs> um Um, let's do a prediction. I'm sorry guys. That, that was like okay, was that interesting or no? I I think my main point is wait, I need to start the prediction. Will I mess up? <laughs> Prediction. Will Megan write at least five names without going on a tangent? No. <laughs> no, Mac, you're okay. It's okay. I think... For me, whenever I had my first like therapy setup thing, getting the diagnosis wasn't scary. I was just like, I know I'm fucked up, but I can understand how the anticipation will bother you. But you know what? It'll be okay. No, it's it's like kind of fucked because I had a consultation over the phone and then I got a call back in like an hour and they were like, you ha you're depressed. <laughs> okay, let me finish the fucking side tangent about those fucking dumbass comments. The reason why I wanted to bring it up today is because I think it's a prime example of how people are scared of socialist ideology, but if you look at the actual core values and what the party represents and stands for, then people will be receptive for it. Okay, this blue pen is fucked. You can hear the pen. It's still like busted though. <clears throat> and obviously, oh, I almost fucked up. I almost put an R instead of an M. Obviously, electricity is a privilege, but genuinely, if you believe that fully, and you think it should not be provided to you, go for a day without electricity. Are you bring a Burlington? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Do you get discounts? I've never gone to a Burlington. <gasps> you walked out, you didn't even get two bakes? Giga Chad. Okay, I'm getting a new blue pen. I'm almost done with school. I'll be set free soon. I'm kind of like not scared, but I'm like worried for what I'm gonna do once I graduate. Cause I'm gonna graduate in July and June. And I think working at the library would be pretty fun. Cause since I would graduate with a bachelor's, you only need an associate's to work at the libraries. So I think that could be fun. But I just need to get my medical shit figured out. That way I can get reasonable accommodations. Because I genuinely don't want to apply anywhere until I can be legally protected. What's my major? Graphic design. Dude, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Guys, guys, guys. Um, I had this random thought this, the other day. Because <laughs> I was... I was doing an assignment where we had to, where we basically have to redesign a website. So we had to look at examples of like good websites. <laughs> so, I, okay, nobody, nobody clip this one. Um, thirteen plus joke. <laughs> I'm gonna leak. Um. I said, I don't need no GF. If I see a beautifully designed and coded website, I spalooge instantly. <laughs> and then it's like the the flushed sweat teardrop emoji. 
<laughs> I just thought it was the funniest shit. I would obviously like never tweet that out. I might though. <laughs> I just think it's funny. Oh, you need a graduate to be a librarian? No, no, no. In my area, we needed associates. I'm fine. I'm getting a bachelor's. I think. I think I'm fine. Anyway, I just- I thought that was a really funny joke. But the last time I tweeted out something like, kind of risque, you guys didn't like it. And I was sad. Smasher passed the Twitch website. I think there's like not enough. There's a lot of greasy gamers here and I wouldn't want to smash everybody. I'm going to be designing databases for the rest of my life. Why are you sad? That's what you studied back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at your message, Nyx. Graphic design is my passion. Any coders in chat? I'm working on coding my art website. Chatters, follow my art channel. It's tagged in the title. Follow it. It's free to follow. I think I need to talk and work. I didn't mess up this name. I caught the dot before I went to the next name. It was that I'm going to the army. Oh. Sag. Don't. The army will literally fuck you up. It, you're guaranteed to be like disabled. PDST. Or your wife will cheat on you. So, like, literally nothing good happens. I love BTS. <laughs> Why? Why are you bringing up BTS? <clears throat> oh, the BTS people went to the army. Dude, okay, jokes will fly over my head because my brain is too big. Oh, little chatters, do not enroll in the army. It's. Just don't. Just don't. It's not worth it. I think the only kind of good thing is that you can get fucking woke. Hi, welcome in, drip cash, money, swag. Hello, can we get some peace I do, yo's? If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me, but welcome in. Wait, do we have swag enabled? Oh, I didn't enable swag. Damn it. I applied to the army as a joke. And then withdrew my application, but they still called me. Oh, no. Dude, you're in, you're in their databases forever now. You fucked up. Yeah, I never even considered enlisting because my dad was in the Navy and he told me don't do it. That's what one of my old co co-workers was doing. He was joining the Navy as like a, a field medic. So he was telling me how for some of the training, he had to literally sit and watch like for an hour straight. One of their classes was looking at like really gory, like battle wounds for an hour straight. And I was like, oh, that's scary. See, the army targets the lost. And it exploits them. And it fucks them up even more. So just don't do it. That's why you see so many enlistment ads on Twitch. Because everybody who watches Twitch is a loser. If you agree, type 1. <laughs> I've only done... Jesus Christ, three names. <laughs> Everybody's just self-aware.
Thank goodness I didn't enlist. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to watch the stream. Minus one viewer. <laughs> so what specifically do you want to do then, Nyx? <clears throat> I think you mentioned earlier it could be field nurse. Ooh, those Fs are nice. Mental health, oh. That one's cool. <clears throat> okay, one page done. You know how at high school, they have like the job fairs for seniors? And then the recruitment people would always have like the pull-up bar. Just so you could show off to all the, the girlies. <clears throat> I wonder if like it actually worked for, to get people to like sign up for their email listings or something. Cause, wait, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't- okay, I don't look at my auto-modded messages. I'll glance, like, every 30 minutes to see if I got any. And 10 minutes ago, Kim said that's a fifth grade thought. Jesus Christ, calm down. <laughs> Holy. <clears throat> Dude, that's insane, Mac. That's some crazy propaganda. The most they brought was the fucking pull-up bar. Oh, we, we did have JR JROTC, or whatever the fuck it's called at my school. Because there's a fuck ton of, like, military bases in my area. There's, like, one in every other, the other town, almost. <clears throat> that's how I spell idea. <laughs> no, Kim, don't try to skirt the auto mod by typing thought like that. You're gonna get banned. Oh wait, I also forgot to say, I, I have the best of February compilation posted on my TikTok, Twitter, and YouTube, so go like it, go watch it if you haven't watched it already, and where is it? So nobody says I scammed. <clears throat> These were the results for this month's top clippers. We had Cokes with three clips, Kobobo with... 7, MEB plus 1, and Wolf with 2. So Koboba had the most and best clips. So they did receive a $25 gift card. So if you haven't redeemed it, Kobo, check your DMs. If they're watching. I don't know if they're watching. Um, so congrats. If you want a chance to get a gift card yourself, all you gotta do is make the best and most clips during the month of March. Yeah, I scam all the time. I, I tweeted it yesterday. That I was editing a VOD for October. And I literally said, if we hit our sub goal, I'll do a chicken nugget stream. And then I didn't. So we'll add that to our list of that. Yeah, it was a stream from October. It was a Mario Kart one. So I promise we'll do a chicken- Should I do a ranking chicken nugget video or stream where I get a whole bunch of fast food chicken nuggets and rank them? I think that'd be a better idea. But, you know, chicken nuggets don't taste good after like five minutes. Wait, I, I do- I, I'll do it. I think I'll do that for the stream.
I have to think about like which fast food is in my. Does Jack in the Box have chicken nuggets? Live stream at McDonald's, dude. That's so obnoxious. And my Walmart is kind, or not my Walmart. My McDonald's is kind of scary. There's a lot of um sus people who hang out. <clears throat> Wendy's chicken nuggets are better than McDonald's. I agree. I agree. No, I, I will not give my true opinions until the stream. I won't spoil. Wait, chatters, we're 30 minutes in the stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the channel. Um, Since we are doing calligraphy, follow today. I will write your name today. Holy moly. Can we hit our follow goal today? Any new follows? And if you're already following, make sure you have notif notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single stream. <coughs> I gotta Mac, if you do that, then you can't type. People do that for the joke, but we're in 10 minute follow -up. So if you literally do that, you can't type for 10 minutes. And then you lose your clout. You sat in line for three hours? That's insane. No, this is insane. Emo only chat. Haha. <laughs> oh, mega dance. <laughs> Three hours? That's crazy. Chatters, what's your favorite emote in the chat room? Dude, this new pen is so nice. You guys do not understand, it's so nice. Is that Minecraft a global emote? It is. <laughs> I'm gonna try and stream every day this week, guys, since I slack last week. I think tomorrow we'll do Omori. Oh, because the new wave of Mario Kart DLC comes out on Thursday, so we'll do a blind react on Thursday. Um, it's Mario Day on Friday, so we're gonna play some fucking Mario. And then... Wednesday? I have an appointment in the afternoon, so maybe we'll do calligraphy on the art channel. Follow the art channel, guys. If you're a real fan, you follow the art channel. If you don't follow the art channel, then you're very mean. Painting's being sold soon. <clears throat> I love and hate emo only chat because you know I can actually focus on what I'm doing and not ha having to worry about like making sure nobody's saying slurs. But then I also feel so alone because my favorite part of stream is like interacting with chat. If I could be a just chatting streamer and not play games, I think I'd go that path. But I feel like that kind of chills, chills your channel. Hi, Vicodent! Welcome in! Can we get some yos? We haven't seen you in a while, hon. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> what is that about, Matt? <laughs> it has a gun in it! We hate guns! Put that away. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so I love and hate emote only chat. You guys should play Pictionary or something. Oh, I think we only have a few names left. Oh, never mind, we have like five. I'm actually stalling. Okay. 
Our favorite letter, the letter Z. Okay, it's been five minutes. You guys can talk now. No bad words. <clears throat> there was stuff on the VTuber before? Oh. That's because I have- yeah. Shit, I don't know how to- Okay, yeah, that's- That's because I have the cursor touching it. Let's see if this will help a little bit. I can't resub for like an hour? I mean, you still have an emote. That's okay, Vic. You know, don't worry about it. Everybody goes through shit. I've gone through some shit, but I'm glad you're here, man. I've been okay. Nothing crazy. I wish, like... <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I've seen... All of my TikTok for you page is people, like, doing story times about their traumatic events in, like, SA. And I just have to sit and watch the video. Because... A part of me wants their story to be heard, so I feel like I, I'm a, I'm obligated to listen. But after I watch the videos, or after I log off of TikTok, after like 20 minutes of people trauma dumping, I'm like, holy shit. I haven't gone through it like they have. That looks weird. One thing I do find kind of concerning is how people feel so comfortable to, like, share, like, very personal things online, even if they're not fully, like, anonymous. Okay, this person's name will not fit, but I'll try. Okay, this person's name was not the greatest player. I have a coworker like that and it makes me cringe. Have they posted about you? Uh-oh. Yes. The Overshare IRL? Oh. I feel like I've kind of gotten over that hump. Because there was a phase where I just, like, was very transparent and open about everything. But I've also decided that, you know, I need to respect other people's boundaries more. Like, if you're going to talk about heavy shit, you need to give them a warning first. Because you don't necessarily know what people's triggers are all the time. I don't think this person's name will fit either. Damn, it's so close to. This was drip cash money swag. A trigger warning, but IRL. What I tend to do now with new friends, or if it's like a friend that I want to open up a bit more with. Uh, usually whenever I have a new friendship, I establish triggers. I'm like, do you guys- or do you not like swear words? Is there any topic that you don't like talking about? And if it's with a friend that I'm like already closer with and I want to talk about something heavier, I'll be like, you know, I need to make sure that you're okay and are- or have the tools to be able to equip what I want to share. 
so yeah. I tell my friends that I'll tell them anything about what's going on, but I'm not going to tell them unless they ask. Yeah, it's like, there's a, there's a very, a thing that I'm trying to get over is like learning how to trust people again. I'm obviously not going to share what triggered it because there are several things, but I think I think you need to have, like, a level of blind faith and trust in new people. But you also have to be mindful of what you share. Yeah, it's weird because I will get a Twitch recap for my own channel. It'll tell me, like... Oh, the top emote for the channel for the month of February is Peace I 2 Vibe. Peace I 2 Punch didn't even get in the top three emotes used in my channel. You guys fell off. But I think it's really cool how Twitch has that recap function for every month now. It's gonna lead to more engagement. So, plus one Twitch. I think a lot of the developments that they're going to be launching in this year are going to do well. In terms of like moderation, um, showing content, I think it'll be- it'll do well. Because like I've participated in a few Twitch like user surveys, I obviously can't talk about what was in them. But I feel like there's a lot of good shit coming. Yeah, I think that is a great way of seeing it, Nyx. You need to know people a little bit more before you can share and that's totally fine, I agree. I just don't want to become somebody who goes on stream and cries. Because, like, there are some things that I feel comfortable sharing and some things I don't feel comfortable sharing. Because a lot of people forget that whatever you say online is there forever. Oh, last name, guys, last name. It's one thing to start crying on stream, but it's another to stream when you're already crying. I almost cried during the Valentine's Day stream. I got really close. Mess up? No! 10 subs and I'll mess up right now. <laughs> Just kidding, I would never throw. Unless... Ooh, I usually do a curly cube. That looks cool with a straight edge. Okay. And we are done. With calligraphy, I mean. Not with stream. Good job, back. Good job. Okay, so let's look through. And feel free to screenshot if you see your name. And if you don't see your name today, then it's on a previous page, which I have posted on my Twitter, exclamation FJ in chat. Oh, they were in chat earlier. Drip cash money swag! How come there's no piece I to buy? Because then you guys would use it all the time and then I would get sad. She doesn't want us to leave that too. That as well. I think it's sad when people type, oh, I'm leaving or bye. I'm like, sad. It's like when you're hanging out with your friends and they're like, oh, I gotta go home now. It's sad. There we go. All the followers for the month of February, or actually only half of February because we did calligraphy halfway through the month last time. That's a pretty good amount. So three, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39,
11. 15 in two weeks? That's not bad. That's like a follower every day. That's pretty good. Should we stop saying bye? I mean, I don't care. The only time I think it's kind of like needed for somebody to say bye if it's a moderator. Because if you don't have a moderator, when you think you do, that can be a problem. Also, guys, remind me at noon, so in an hour, I need to drink my lunch. Because I'm trying a weight loss diet thing. All of it just slowly disappear. No, guys, my viewer count is already dropping anyway. Drink lunch. Remember I said I'm starting like weight loss shake drinks? I'm not going to say the brand because I'm not hashtag sponsored. Sorry, I'm answering a text. Megaphone streamer. On my real phone, not my burner phone. This one is for the main bitches. I like to say bye because I don't want to just disappear. I mean, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> liquid lunch and liquid shits. No, I am. I'm not. You know, like some diet programs that just makes you shit your brains out. It's like a laxative, essentially. I would never do that. I mean, my bathroom is in my room. But I would never do it. Whoa, new emo? Where? Oh, well, we have some third party ones. Okay, I'm done with my phone. I'm done with my phone. Let's do sketch cards now. I was not stalling. Okay, okay. So I'm gonna get as many cards done as I can. Let's get close-ups of the pencil. We have Kobobo. I should sort these out. Oh, since Keelan's in- I think we'll do Keelan first, because this is their first ever sketch- <coughs> I dropped it. I said we'll do Keelan- Wait, Nick! I need a picture from you! Since we haven't seen you in a while, I need a picture from you, because you gifted in December, but you didn't get a card. And um, there's Keelan. Uh, I'll draw it next month if you send me it in time. It won't be done today because I didn't have time to sketch it. Oh, yeah, and the rest are Max and Titans. We have three for Titans. This one was cute. I'm not, I don't know how this one's going to come out because I don't do animals. But it's Titans with his dog, I think. It's cute. And then we have Mac. I like all of these cards for Mac. They're pretty good. Because Max said I could be more, like, stylized this month. There we go. So that's our lineup for today. And um, we'll do Keelan and Kobobo first. That way we get their cards done. Okay, I need to get some paper. I see my Sonic hoodie. Yeah, the, I think the- I gotta zoom in. I think the concept I'm gonna do is... Because uh, Keelan had a pride flag in the background. And I made sure it was okay to include it. Because we've got to make sure people are safe. Um, but I wanted to do like sonic rings. And then like a rainbow exploding out of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with Sakura- I have a lot. <laughs> with Sakura fine liner breath pens, and then also Sakura micron pens. 
I'm gonna be using color pencil and markers to color in. Are those all the same width? No. So the way these are labeled, it says on the caps and then the sides. So FB is fine, MB is medium, and then BB is bold. Then the fine liners are labeled the same as well. But then these are labeled by like how many millimeters? Okay, I think Keelan's like the actual drawing, the face looks kind of accurate. And the nose, oh, there's a hair. The nose shape is actually nice because Keelan was one of the only people who sent me like a three quarter head angle because <laughs> usually people just send me front facing ones and i'm so bad at drawing faces from the front view but i'm really good at three quarter you know that's the cliche artist thing i think the three quarter look is nice because you get to see the nose a little bit better okay let's get to drawing <clears throat> oh, this is a graphic pen what is this oh that's the brush tip or it's a felt tip I'm gonna go in with the 005 micron liner. Did you draw my nose ring? I will draw it in. But the way that the nose ring is angled in some of your pictures, like the nose ring lines up where like the nostril is and it looks funny. But funny in the sense of like, you don't wanna have too many black lines next to each other. You need to be able to see things that are visible. Okay, let's get to inking. Nose is literally perfect. Holy fuck. Okay, hold. I'm gonna turn face cam off. Or art cam off because the... The tripod unlocked. The fuck? It's okay, I caught the camera before it fell. That could have been very bad. I already broke the lens a while ago. Can't afford to do it again. I'm using a different tripod today. Oh, it's, it's not locking in place like it should. Okay, well, we'll try this. Yo, it's back. The angle is... I hate that. Wait, let me get my... You know how some artists will draw on a drafting table, like a table with an angle? I usually just draw on a binder. Oh, that looks worse! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hi Chip, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? It was a great first day of working. Ooh, if you want to leak, what is it? Or what type of job? Like, is it food service? What's, what is it? Thank you, Chip.
Now, call me controversial. But I personally... Dude, this angle is wild. I like to do, like, a little wing on eyes. Because when you look at eyes close up, even if you're not wearing makeup, the way a lot of people... Eye, the way that you look at people's eyelashes, it makes it look like they have, like, a natural wing. It's weird. Like, if somebody has really long eyelashes... It's food service, but I'm a traffic director? You mean, like, the people at Chick-fil-A who, like, tell people where to drive in line? What? I'm confused. <laughs> I think I know the place- uh, Don't leak! They gave it away? Did I actually get it? Honestly, I love Chick-fil-A. Even if their morals are bad, I love their food. <laughs> I've been, like, craving it. No, Dutch Bros Coffee has the same shit, too. Yeah? <laughs> Plus one Megan, minus one chip. It's so good, now I'm craving it? Fuck. You know what else I'm craving? an ad because everybody we are an hour in the stream so it's time for you to run some ads if you want to avoid that ad all you got to do is subscribe for 4.99 just five dollars skip your coffee and get added for viewing all month long or you can link them as a reminder to twitch and hashtag sub for food with prime click subscribe see if you have a prime sub available after the ad we're gonna keep drawing because we have a fuck ton of cards to do anyway oh my god hassan is live sorry Because I get like little notifications when I, on my desktop whenever somebody goes live. You don't have chick. F I thought you put chick fail. That would have been that would have been a good joke. That would have been good. Yeah, I mean, Chick Fil A it's really good, but they they hate gay people. Or not the workers, but the the company. They make a lot of bad donations. And it's also expensive as heck. It's way too much. Oh, we have a Chick-fil-A in like every town almost here. Like if it's a, if it's like a, a more populated town. So is every chicken fast food place? No, Wingstop is actually pretty decently priced. Blueberry cheesecake shakes? That sounds so good. Wait, 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 let me see. Don't make me do this, don't. Because, uh, okay, theoretically, they would only have like blueberry cheesecake if that was like a seasonal item or they could like make it with the existing ingredients, right? Dude, my sister's gonna be mad if I order food. Because we share a um, DoorDash account. So she will know. She will know if I order food. Which I'm not going to. I'm just seeing what shakes they have available. Guys, Meg phone streamer. See, look. Chick-fil-A nuggets, their delivery. Eight pieces, eight dollars. A dollar per little morsel? That's crazy. I can never justify ordering it. What? Oh, treats. Thunder treats. How did you make the blueberry? Because my area, we only have vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and cookies and cream. I know they usually have like... Oh, you know what I really want? I really want a shamrock shake. Those are my favorite. I want- Guys, wait, I literally can't order food because I'm on my diet. Or it's not a diet, it's just a protein shake thing. Okay, back to work.
It's a secret. Okay, if it's a secret menu item, how do I order it? Like, how do they have like the blueberries? Because like nothing else on our menu have blueberries on it. As a person in the medical school, protein shakes, no comment. Are they bad? Are they bad? Do you guys have checkers or rallies? Not in my area, no. Are protein shakes bad? Because I initially bought some that were like, you had to mix the drink every day with the powder, but then that was like too much for me to handle. So, um, I'm, I'm buying like pre-bottled shit. It's like a dollar each, so not bad. You just have them with working out. I think they're bad if you don't. They're not very good for you only because of sustainability of diet reasons. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Because, like, I can- Wait, we got it in the prediction. Did I mess up? No, I didn't. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't- Because, like, I can't- I can't exercise. I can't. It's too much on my body. Like, I can't even, like, fucking- Okay. There was one time I was crossing the road. Why is the focus so fucked? Is it? Okay, it's not bad. Yeah, cause like, I understand both of you guys' opinions on it. Cause like, I was reading up on it and that's basically what the main consensus was as well. But there was one time where I was like, I had to like quickly cross a crosswalk and I like ran across it and my knees were so fucked up afterwards. Like it, it's hard for me because I haven't like exercised fully in a long time. I think the last time I did, I did like ring fit. Um, how long ago? Like four months ago, like right before he moved. But I haven't, like, exercised fully since. I haven't biked either because my bike is at my parents' house. So, it's like... I might as well try it. Okay, I actually have to focus now. The Walmart bike? No, I think my bike I got from Fred Meyer. Oh, yeah, because that, that's true, because my Walmart bike got stolen. That's what I'm gonna do next or this week. Cause I have an appointment this week because I had spinal shit done, or I had spine MRIs done, so I need to. Cause like I got the results, so I can see what they say, but I don't understand what the results are, and I'm kind of scared to like look it up. So I'll find out later this week what specifically can be done to like help. Yeah, thank you, Nix.
<laughs> Anyways. Thank you. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use the 05 liner anymore because the tip is really fragile. And I think I've busted it already. Let's find my number one. Here's my number. This is the number one. I am the one, the one, the one. Yeah, I think I can start coloring now. I think I want to do a black background and then the rainbow. So I'm not going to outline the rainbow. I'll just do the, the color first. That actually looks pretty good, not gonna lie. Thank you, Keelan. I try to do more, like, abstract or unique concepts if I can. Because I feel like it gets kind of stagnant if I just draw the person every month. Okay, I need the... So when did we switch to PNG tubing? Only for the arch streams. Exclamation model in chat. Because I learned that if I have face cam turned off for our streams, then I'm able to focus a little bit better. Because being on camera on its on its own is like stressful. And like when I'm drawing, um the angles aren't good. <laughs> Why'd the music stop? Well, that's just part of the video. That's stupid. Because there's a mirror that lines up right by my stream desk. So when I'm editing or drawing, I can see like my full body profile and you know i like how i look i personally like i like the look of somebody who has like a little bit of chub but some angles do not look good <laughs> so like i'll look in the mirror like i'll glance to the mirror that's not that's not my closet i'm just like holy my tummy is huge and like during any painting stream that we did do with face cam uh, I just got self-conscious. I was like, you know, I need to... So when I was getting self-conscious during the stream, that's all I could think about. And then it just affected, like, how quickly I could work. And I was just like, I just don't want to deal with that shit. So for our stream, face cam off. I don't know what all D is. I only really shop at like chain grocery stores and I feel bad. There is like a local produce stand, like a few blocks away that I do sometimes go to. Hi Titans. Oh, by Titans. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. You're allowed to sit as a cashier? Holy! It's actually crazy. 
Oh wait, I forget. I need to see what the pack. I'm not gonna show the actual pictures on stream. Don't worry, chatters. I just need to make sure I get colors right. They're making you pay to use the shopping carts? Okay, that's a scam. Like, actually. So what you're saying is, I could put a quarter in the cart, but then I can just take the cart? <laughs> I'm kidding, I would never do that. Um, <laughs> We get free drinks? Dude, get a shake every day and see how much weight you can gain. For for science, for science. I don't think I could ever work at like an ice cream or a froyo shop because I'd be eating ice cream all day. Or the Subway cookies, too. Those were a problem. You know what else is a problem? <laughs> no, it's not time for an ad. Yeah, I usually get groceries from Winko. And then sometimes produce from the produce stand. If I feel like it. Okay. I've seen so many people post about like, ooh, groceries are so expensive. Oh no, which they are. Okay, they are. But then they get all their groceries from like Trader Joe's or some shit. It's like, that's some bougie ass groceries. And you're bitching about how much it costs? It's like, go to like a lower budget place. Like, come on. Eggs are expensive? Not in my area anymore, thankfully. I think it all depends on where you shop, honestly. The only Trader Joe's I go to is full of college students. I don't know how they afford it, because their parents paid, paid for them to go to college. Obviously. Yeah, all the eggs in my area are normal price. Nothing is overpriced right now, thankfully. We got lucky. Right now I'm doing strokes of brown. We're not going up for a fully realistic, we're going for a slightly illustrative today. Drop the playlist. I just Google like game music or Nintendo music and then I find like I dropped a pencil and then I drop and then I just pull up the comp videos so this is what is this one relaxing animal crossing city folk and wild word music heart emoji I've considered signing up for like those meal Plan services like you know HelloFresh and that type of shit. HelloFresh is bad because they're anti-union. Um, <laughs> but I think it's hard to like justify coughing up that much money at once. Because when you're looking at like five dollars per meal, so I have to pay like two hundred up front. It it's kind of hard to get over that hump, but if it's gonna save you time and money. 
Like, less meal prepping, less grocery shopping. I can kind of understand why you do it. But it's just not for me. I definitely like being able to cook for myself, but it can get really tiring. Since this is, um... Wait, December, January... Oh my god, we have been moved out for three months. Wow. I'm honestly getting a little bit burnt out on cooking. But that's because I only know how to make some things. And it's kind of hard for me to, like, experiment and make new dishes because my sister is so goddamn picky. So I'm, I'm always scared that she's not gonna like something and then she just won't have anything to eat. So that stresses me out. She just eats ramen though? Yeah, and that's bad. Oh my god, it's the shellac music. Uh, she usually gets, like, the ramen bowls online. She'll have it for breakfast, but then she'll eat whatever lunch I have prepped. Oh my god, we got a food steamer? So, if you guys ever have, like, dim sum, you can buy dim sum from, like, the frozen section. And it's, it's just a machine that heats up water, and then it boils the steam upwards, so you don't need to get, like, a wok and baskets. So it's just a mechanical steamer, and it's so good. I made shu mai from the freezer today, and it was so fucking good. Okay, controversial. Dude, my nails are horrible. Controversial, but I'm not too big a fan of regular ramen. It's, like, not filling enough. And I don't like broth soup. I like a thicker soup. I think it's also because I don't like eating food super hot, and ramen is not good when it's, like, room temp. So, cancel me, but I don't like ramen. There's a lot of Korean barbecue places here. There's a lot of, like, ethnic foods as well in my area. Definitely, once I can afford to, I definitely want to go out to eat, like, every weekend. Just to try everything. Broccoli cheddar soup from Panera is so good. Dude, that is my favorite. I wish I could make the broccoli cheddar at home. But my sister hates broccoli. Because, like, it's hard for me to justify cooking stuff if not everybody's gonna eat it. It just feels like a waste of time and money if I don't make shit that everybody will eat. Because one roommate, not picky at all, they'll literally eat anything. And that's how the other one is as well. And then... I'm not too picky, I just don't like eating vegetables, unless it's like boiled. But my sister, oh my god. Dude, I want Olive Garden too! I want so much! I want everything! You know, the stream has just become promo for restaurants, and I'm not getting paid, so we should stop talking about food. Okay, I gotta be careful, because my hand is getting dirty.
Okay, not bad. <laughs> not gonna lie though, hating veggies is so valid. <laughs> it's the texture! Because vegetables are so hard to eat. They're, they don't taste good. And the texture is not fun to chew on. That's why I don't like it. You like eating raw bell peppers? That's weird. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> Chat, are we live? Chat, are we live? Are we live? Type one, type one. Type one. Okay, because my my Twitch moderator thing froze, but we're fine. Okay, this that's not too bad a delay. That's weird. Oh. What did it look like on your end? Did it just... What happened? That was weird. Bravo. Because what happened, you know that little ghost icon that shows up whenever you go to a banned channel? That icon was on my screen. <laughs> well, the bottom, oh, so just my, the leaderboard was X'd out? Okay. So that just means Twitch, my browser broke for a second. So that's fine, that's fine. Saved. So I thought I got clapped. And then I was scrambling. I was like, did I say something bad? I was like, did I say a slur accidentally? Just kidding, I would never do such a thing. I'm gonna color in the rings gold. What would you do if you got banned? I would- I don't know, I would be very sad. Obviously, chatters, that will never happen, because Twitch staff, I will never say slurs, I will never make threats, I will never do anything bad. Because the, the scary thing is, if you get clapped as an affiliate channel, you're basically never coming back. Would you go to YouTube? No. I, w I would just fucking quit. Because I don't have a large enough audience to where it would transfer to YouTube. That's crazy, yeah. So, everybody behave. And I will behave. I don't think I've ever done anything that skirted the lines anyway. That That's a reason why um, I don't watch videos. I don't click on people's links in chat. That's why the link is disabled. That way I don't accidentally click on something. Cause that has happened. Like some chatter will link something and it's like nudity or something and then they get banned. And it's really sad that it happens. Because Twitch is obviously more forgiving when it comes to accidental um, breaks of terms of service. But like I said, as an affiliate channel, since you don't have a partner manager. Because there's like thousands of affiliates on the platform that are streaming so many hours. It's very hard to allot everybody equal time for like a a report or a ban request so yeah and let's not talk about that because I don't want to encourage anybody to do anything No, don't do it, Nix. Don't do it. Hey, this looks pretty sick, honestly. The background.
I think that's why it's important for, um, if you are streaming or doing any type of content, you have to make sure you build your audience on different platforms. Like, make sure you have a base following on YouTube, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter, all at the same time. That way, if you get, like, accidentally banned or something, you still have a, a base audience on any platform. So everybody, follow my Twitter! Y'all want a major Nick self report? What if I say no? Is it good? <laughs> yeah, it's only if it's good content. Only if it's good content. It's content, but it's bad. Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, don't self-report then. Don't self-report. No self-reporting, because the FBI is watching. I think the only thing that I've done that skirts the line is jaywalking. That's the only thing. Okay, this card is almost done. What if Nyx is lying this whole time and they're baiting for attention? No, Nix, don't self-report. Don't self-report. I'm also using um, Sakura Jelly Roll gel pens. They're nice because they're super opaque. They are uh, mid price point wage, but or range, but they are fully opaque. It, it's basically fully covering that black. He not gonna lie, how did you get a- <laughs> Thank you for the resub, Keelan. Thank you. Can we get some wheelins in chat? Thank you. The TTS scared me. Because, <laughs> like, I have my headphones playing audio, and the headphones are, like, right by my head when I lean over my desk, so that scared me. <laughs> Don't do it again. Thank you. Two months, holy moly. I hope you've been having fun this month. Oh, that's really cute, Chip. That's really cute. Something that I've been wanting to, like, do for fun is, you know how when you're little you do, like, handprint art? I want to do that so bad. But then I also realize that it's gonna fuck with, like, my sensory issues. That's so cute. Oh my god, is that Rainy Day Games in the chat room? Ain't no way! Hi, Rainy! Can we get some yo's? Can we get some peace I too loves for Rainy too? You need some love right now. Dude, this goes crazy. Hi friends. No, don't call the chat room your friends. They're gonna like you too much. I don't even call them my friends, Rainy. You can't do that shit. <laughs> don't! See, look, Max, stop. Stop, guys, stop. You guys are not friends. You're not friends. <laughs> They're my best friend forever. And we DM daily. Does Rainy have a secret piece in 17 Discord server? Okay, this looks crazy. Wait, look, you can see the shine on the gold. Nice. Once again, thank you to Keelan. I think you gifted how many subs last month? Too many. But thank you. I hope you enjoy your card, man. Um, I will be able to mail out cards soon, so I will post on Twitter once I'm able to mail out cards to everybody. Who should we do next? Let's see. I think I'll wait for Kobobo because they might come into stream later. Mail cards? Yeah, I'll post on Twitter. Because since I have a, um, so, fuck, what is it called? I'll do Mac next. Since I have... Oh, since I have a mailing address for the art website, I can safely mail out things to chatters. So, thumbs up. 
I need a Megan card to put beside the candles? Monka W. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I'm really glad to see you, Rainy. I'm really glad to see you, hun. <laughs> yeah, th there are, like, so much shit I had to do to make sure I don't leak anything. Like, I had to get a new mailing address, I had to get a new phone number. I really, no, it's not a- I can't receive anything to it, so no. It, it's just a legal street address. So I can- I can use it to send stuff, but I cannot receive. So don't try. The post office will get mad at me. They'll be like, Megan, you're dumb. And I'll be like, you're right. Okay, first card for Mac. This one is gonna be stylized. I'm not gonna fully color it. This one is gonna be black and white. Maybe some accent colors. <laughs> it won't let me use sub mode till I refresh. Um, oopsie. Okay, I'm gonna use- I'm gonna try a what? No, maybe I should do brush pens. I'll do- I'll do, um, a zero two liner and then brush pens. Oh wait, I wanna- never mind, I wanna do- I wanna try- let's see how big the- Ooh. Yeah, for comparison, this is the largest, the 08, and then this is a 02 liner. Drastically different. I wanna try and use the 08, and then maybe some. Yeah, I'm gonna go try do the hair with a medium MB brush tip. Ooh, that looks crazy. You know, I could draw all the individual curls on Mac's head, but I just don't want to. draw them all either. <laughs> What's my favorite type of food? Ice cream, obviously, because that's my favorite. And we're... I almost said friends. Uh oh We're not friends, chatters. Don't... Don't get ideas. I updated my long-term sub goals, and I made 1 million subs, and I'll make a Discord. Do you think we'll hit it, guys? That looks really cool. <laughs> Surely a million. Easy. You drew my curls when you drew me, but that sounds because you had, like, a lot less curls, Nyx. I think Mac is literally hair goals. Like, I wish my hair would be like theirs. There, I drew your nose ring. See, look, it looks fucking stupid, though. Okay, I need to actually try hard on the map. Hi, Kobobo! Can we get some peace I tune? Yo's, hello! We'll be your card next, Kobobo. We're waiting. I should get a perm now? Why? 
Wait, okay, okay. Don't perms make your hair curly? What would happen if a curly person got a perm? That looks cool. You can perm straight? You can perm your lashes? What? What? Okay, what, what does perm mean then? I forgot there was a stream today. I wasn't- I usually don't stream on Mondays because Mondays is chore day, but I was like, I'll say- I did chores yesterday. Why are you guys putting curly? Is, is curly? Is, sorry. I think we're friendly, but friends is the title that is earned. Way too based. Chip is a good chatter. Best chatter. Stop with the friends meta. Stop. Okay, that lip goes crazy. This reference picture literally looks nothing like that. Who's the dog one? That's Titans. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stream every day this week if I can to make up for the hours I lost last week, so chatters look forward to that. It's also Mario Day on s Friday. Oh my god, hi, Batty! Hi, Batty. Megan's so jealous of our best friend's forever bracelets. I don't like wearing bracelets anyway. So it don't matter. No me importa. I was so disappointed in the Pokemon Day announcements. They weren't what I wanted. I agree. But then it's like, what would you have wanted? <laughs> Sorry, just Keelan freaking out about losing their sub is so funny to me. It's like, I can't help you. <laughs> the new professor is kind of cute. Why are you hitting on them? Cringe. Ew. You know what else is cringe? Not following the channel because guys... We are another 30 minutes into stream, so it's time for me to tell you. If you're new here, follow the channel. You get cool emotes, and you get to type in chat. And if you're already following, make sure your notifications are turned on, that we don't miss a single stream. And it's also 12 p.m., so I can finally drink my drink. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, I'm not gonna say what the brand of the shake is. But the little plastic tabby thing is so hard to tear off. You can pretend to help me. Um, keep keep refreshing, and if it doesn't work, gift 10 subs. That should help. <laughs> I'm kidding! Guys, I'm kidding. Yeah, just keep kidding. <laughs> Don't do that. I'm trolling. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, anybody want to gift 100 subs? Dude! Will that ever happen? Chatters, don't- You want to send me a smart? Don't ever gift a streamer a hundred subs. At once. At once. It's not worth it. You get cloud and chat for five seconds, everybody's like, Oh my god, bat chest, a hundred gifted? And then, it doesn't happen past that. Megan, the anti-streamer? Yeah, I'm the antichrist. 
One day it'll happen, but no, chatters, do not ever. I'm being serious. Do not ever gift any streamer a hundred subs. Do not ever do it. That's like rent money. That's like a. Oh yeah, let's be honest. This is like a sixth of an American's rent money. <laughs> but it's like, just send it to PayPal. True. True. <laughs> Bad ear capping. You literally said you can't afford a Prime subscription anymore because it went up $3. You're literally lying. Gift a thousand subs. Any Oilers? Okay, watching some of, like, Kaisen at streams and, like, seeing him get getting, like, like, hundreds and hundreds of gifted from people in one sitting is insane to me. I mean, that's great. That's great. But it's like, I don't, I don't understand how some people can have that much, like, disposable income. Like, how much money are they making to where they can afford to drop, like, thousands of dollars in donations? They're so unfazed by it. That's what really kind of, like, that's, I tell chatters, if you want to donate, if you want to donate, just, like, Gift five every month max. That way you get a sketch card. You don't gotta go crazy. Cause cause I'd rather have like a lot of people get a sketch card than having one person donate a lot. Your classes, Keck L. Okay, I'm a broke bitch. I'm waiting to get on disability, man. This reminds me, I gotta cancel a sub. <gasps> Who's sub? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Don't say it. That's kind of mean. <laughs> I have $15 in my bank account. Same. No, wait. I have like... I have a few hundred bits for grocery monies this week. Is it the Peace in 17 sub? No, because Matt gives me their Prime sub every month. Okay, I think the line art for this is done. I think you should give your prime sub to your favorite small streamer. Partially because I think a lot of the times with smaller streamers you don't necessarily know how long they'll be streaming for for like a variety of reasons, right? I feel like it's very hard for people to keep making content if they don't have an established base audience or if they don't have the time. So it's very difficult for- like you see people stream for a year and then quit. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna color this. I don't know how I'm gonna color this. Sorry, I gotta think now. So I would say, give your prime to a smaller streamer, because that way it's not a full commitment. And if you prime during a stream, it's gonna encourage more people to prime. That's my opinion. I give you my prime unless I get gifted. Thank you, Rainy. You can make it like a light to gray. Ooh, what if I did gold? Ooh, silver, I have a silver pen. We're gonna use the gel pens today. Yeah, I only have... I- okay. 
Don't cancel me. But... The only person I pay to subscribe to is Hassan. And, okay, okay. <laughs> I got so happy the other day because I finally got the year and a half sub badge. And if you have a year and a half sub badge, then... You, you have, like, status in the chat room, right? And I was like, oh my god, I finally got the badge! Like, I, like, auto- I, like, visibly smiled when I saw I earned the new badge. So, guys, I'm a year and a half Hassan sub. I also just- I just really like his- his, um, waving emote. Where is it? I'll type it out. You guys see it in my screen all the time where I just type has high. It's my favorite! No more Connor? Yeah. I feel- I watch all of Connor Eats Pants YouTube videos, though. I don't- Because, like, Connor streams too late in the day usually for me to watch. Okay, I need to get back to work. I don't know how I'm gonna color this. Because, like, I don't- I think I'm gonna fill this in solid. I'm- I'm- uh... Okay, I'm conflicted because if I fully fill this in with black, then you're gonna lose, like, the outline. I think the outline looks nice. Oh, no, no, I have an idea. I have a better idea. I'm gonna fill in with scribbles. We're birthday neighbors? Yeah, I think you said your birthday was April 25th, right, Chip? Your hair is brown. No, I want this to be black and white. That's the style of the more caricature cards. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill in with scribbles. That's gonna be the look. My birthday is July 4th and I couldn't hate it more. Oh no. Does that mean you love America? Surely, right? Okay, this texture looks kind of cool. True, you do get fireworks on your birthday. Yeah, we don't really celebrate 4th of July either. We would just watch whatever fireworks the neighbors made. <laughs> or not made, but launched. Our street used to host like a potluck every 4th of July. It was hosted by my neighbor and she would plan it with her husband every year. But then her husband died a few years ago and she stopped hosting them. And it was really sad because we understood why, but she was like, you know, it would remind me of him every year. And it's like, oh. I think that's why I don't want to get married. Because I, I can't imagine, like, finding somebody and then losing them. You know what I mean? That's why I'm just like, I'm just never going to um, touch anybody again.
That texture looks really nice. I think I'm gonna thicken some of the lines as well. Because see how this outline is really thick when compared to this side? So hungry, then get a snack. Get a snack. Or get Chick fil A. That way I can eat it vicariously through you because I really want it. But you know, I have my nice protein shake. Do not make- please don't make that- I was literally- I was literally just gonna say I hate how much noise our AC makes because it thumps and it rattles. I literally was just about to say that. And now you guys are doing the- I'm in your walls. Don't- please, I am begging you. Don't do it. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna thicken some of these lines. I'm just so excited for the new Mario Kart wave, though. No leaks. Don't kick us out. So, my friend's parents own the property that we're renting from, right? And they said a secret strat to convince their parents to us to get a cat is to say that there's rats in the garage. Because they're, they don't like cats, but any time they have like rats come in, they always get a cat. So, my... My roommate and I were joking about, like, me editing a picture of, to, of adding rats to the garage. Because, <laughs> like, his parents aren't older, but they're kind of, like, they're not tech-savvy. So, like, it could actually work. Nepo baby? Okay. You know, I have no... Nothing that'll help me in the nepotism world, okay? You know, I gotta leech off of some people. Okay, I'm gonna fill this in with black. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to add whites on Keelan's card. Do you know how, like, they have little dots? Do you want some wires and drop raisins on the floor? That could work. No, chatters, do not eat wires. It's not gonna be good. There we go. I added the whites. I think I have to have the weirdest chatters. And I'm not even capping. I made a whole video about it. It's on my YouTube channel. Exclamation YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> 
But you know what I you know what I do appreciate? Nobody is like perverted. Nobody's perverted, which is good. Cause if you look at a small streamer's chat, it's usually just people making innuendos all the time. And that's kind of bad. Chat reflects the streamer. Okay, I'm not that weird. That one. I'm not that weird. So, are you saying that all my chatters are fucking gay? L literally, Twitch, literally. <laughs> I have LGBTQI attacked. <laughs> I avoid. Okay, I think some innuendos are fine, but there's obviously a line, right? Yeah, I think this card is good. I kind of like this. Thoughts? I like it. I, I'm debating if I want to add more, but I think just like this. Now I can stay in the walls. This honestly looks like insulation. Next card, let's do Kobobo since they're here. You know what else I need to do? Or you know what else I can do? Run some ads because chatters, we are... Two hours into stream, so it's time for me to tell you that ads are coming your way. So if you want to avoid the ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we're going to keep drawing. We have a lot of cards to do today, so... Get some water, get a snack. I'm going to cancel you for what? Why? Okay, this is obviously an edited image. This is not real. What did I do to get canceled for? What did I do? Oh shit. Oh no. I accidentally opened. Okay. You know when you click on a text notification and you don't want to answer it right away and then you click on it and you're like, fuck, they're going to see that I read the message. You're fine with teasing? Why'd you ruin the joke already? Come on, nerd. So now it's like, now I have to reply to the text or they're gonna think I hate them. Will you take things seriously? Nah, 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 nah. The, um, I, I think there's like, obviously, um, some things that will grind my gears, but I just assume in my head everybody's joking. The only time I know when people aren't joking is when it's like an obvious, like, passive aggressive thing. Oh, another thing, talking about comments I got on a video. This was on my uh, YouTube clips channel. I, I have all the same clips posted to YouTube. And it was me talking about getting negative comments and how they don't bother me. And then it wasn't anytime I talk about comments, I always see if like I get negative ones because it's obviously debate, right? And I got one comment saying, Tubby. I don't know why I went British. But I decided to keep it up. And I just replied, I think I said, I successfully baited someone. Because like all the other comments were saying, oh, you know, bodies are beautiful, that type of thing. You know, body positivity. But I didn't think it's so funny. If somebody's gonna hate, at least be funny. Yes, I feel like TikTok is the perfect example of that. Like, people will be roasting all the time with, like, passive-aggressive shit, but it's, like, actually funny. Like, if you're gonna be a shithead, at least try to be funny. But negative comments don't bother me. I don't give a fuck. Because I'm, I'm very, like... Obviously, I feel like everybody has their own insecurities, but I just don't let shit bother me because I think the opinions of anonymous people means nothing. 
because I solely care more so about the opinions of those I care about or, or who are close to me. I don't give a shit about some little 13 year old kid who finally got their iPad after the mom grounded them. Okay, next we're gonna do Kobobo's card. The <laughs> real? <laughs> yeah. I decided to do a close up card for Kobobo because I feel like there's been a lot of like. Uh. What's the card where it shows like the torso up? Anyway, I wanted to do a more close up card. What's that sweater? The texture was interesting, is what I'll say. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna go in with a- oh, that's a 08. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna go in with a 02, and then the brush liner. I also make Gobobo's eyes more stylized. I don't know, I just wanted to. My dresser just broke? <laughs> what? I feel like Nyx always talks about the most random or craziest shit. And sometimes I think they're lying, but I shouldn't think people are lying. <laughs> well, Bobo has really big eyes. And I think it's cool. I want to go to Goodwill or Thrift Shops because what I've kind of learned... I'm going to make Kobobo's glasses silver. Um, I think in order to do effective online social media or marketing for products, you have to have, like, obviously decent product photos. And then I think also promotional photo shoots. So I want to do a shoot to where I have like overalls and then I just dump a fuck ton of paint on them. Cause I need to, I need, cause I, uh, I need to do so much like photography for like my website. Cause I want to have images for most anything that I talk about. Cause I feel like when you look at a company about section, if it's like a not well designed site, it'll have like just one image of like the founder or the office building and then like a wall of text but i like when they have some sort of picture correlating what with what, what, what they're talking about so example if my about section talks about my um like the state i'm front and the local art scene or if it's talking about my personal style or like my technique i would want to have images for all specific parts of my about section so i'd have to take pictures for everything so i'm like concepting out what type of photo shoots i can do on my own what will i need somebody to help film or shoot which i don't really have any friends who are into photography so i'm probably gonna have to teach my sister some shit the art scene in my school is so scary what do you mean like they just make gory shit <clears throat> but what sucks about doing school online is that it's very hard to network. Like, it's not like I can have a, a someone I'm kind of friendly with at school help me with a project. I have to do everything on my own. Online is so hard. I mean, it takes a lot of, like, self-motivation that I was definitely lacking before, but I, I think I'm back in the groove now. I think it's because I'm so close to graduating. Why auto mind? What did you say? Oh, you just say that the art scene is not gory or bad. 
Oh, now you know what Nick said. Fuck. <laughs> That's why I don't look at Automod message right away. You're a photographer. I wish I could help you. Fuck. Damn. R.I.P. <laughs> Wait, this pen is dying. I think another problem is, even if I had somebody to, like, help film or take photos, I don't have the money to pay them. So, like, I, I could hire somebody, but I just don't have the money. <laughs> and that's why I'm like, I can do it myself or I can manipulate my sister. <laughs> because, like, I don't- I- I told myself, in any work that I do, for stream, for YouTube, for art stuff, I want to be able to compensate anybody who works under me. I don't want anybody to work for free, so I'm not gonna have anybody work for me unless I can afford it. Ooh, look at that. Holy. Oh, I made that way too thin. Well, I guess Kobobo's eyebrows are just super thin this month. Fuck me. I can't fix it. It's pen. I can't fix it. I could use, like, the white gel pen, but then I can't color on top of it because these are, like, water resistant. He got the ring. Yeah, that's canon. <laughs> That's As I was drawing this, oh, that line is horrible. Oh no, that line is so. That is not good. I should have. Oh, wait, actually, since I don't color in faces, I can white that out. Anyway, as I was drawing this, I was like, this kind of looks like Clint Stevens. <laughs> Does anybody watch Clint? I don't, I don't watch his stuff, but I, I hear people talk about him all the time. It does? You don't know who Clint Stevens is? Uh-oh. I think we should cancel Mac, everybody. My chat got automated. I'm not gonna look at what you said because if I deny it, it pops up on my Twitch mod view. So, <laughs> did you say a slur? Who is this white man? <laughs> How do you not know who Clint Stevens is? See, that's the problem with like small stream chat rooms is that a lot of the viewers don't watch large streamers. Like, are you really who megalolling Clint Stevens? Cringe.
I told my sister that you're doing a more tomorrow since I promised I'd tell her when you were. And since she was watching a show, she told me to stop talking. I mean, that's just common sibling shit, right? And then they hit you. <laughs> when you become big, I gotta leave. No! No, you gotta stay forever. Uh, okay, Mac Mac. It's gonna take me, f me forever to become like a 1K Andy. So imagine the clout you'll have when you have like a five year sub badge. <laughs> Mac, your head shatter? No, Mac is not the head shatter. Wait, who who would be the head chatter? Anybody want to volunteer? Who wants to be the class representative? I'm gonna look so cool. Yeah, you'll have a five-year sub edge. Oh yeah, you're right. We did elect Mac one time. Should we do a re-election? Re Should we restuff the ballot boxes? Can I have VIP too? No. I was lying when I said all my OG chatters will give VIP. I was lying. I can't believe this. What happened to us? <laughs> okay, having VIP in a chat room doesn't mean anything. The only real benefit to it if you're watching on desktop, you can go into like your 7TV or third party emote settings. And I personally highlight mod and then VIP messages across the whole platform. That way I can see what like people are saying who are like acclaimed members of that sub community in the stream. But otherwise, what's the point? It's not that cool. It's just a little bit of clout, which means nothing because clout is non-existent. I think you can only get VIP if you've never typed Peace I Too Smile in the chat room. And I think the only chatter who hasn't done that is Hacker, who is my most long-term viewer. Like, seriously, they've been watching for the longest, consistently. For almost a year now, which is crazy. Because they started watching right before my birthday stream. Honestly, Hacker isn't here. <laughs> we can't shit talk. But I think Hacker is consistently a good chatter. <laughs> but they're, they're good. Considering how long they've been watching for. Because usually there's like a... There's a point where people change. Where either they become kind of like parasocial, like skirting the lines of saying the stuff that's not okay. Or they just become weird. I stayed good. How many times have to delete a message, message from you? Mac, you have one time out in the chat room. I think that's pretty bad. Oh, see, that form looks so much better now. Yeah, see how I fucked up that line? I think- No, don't- Do not reveal the real reason, Nyx. Do not reveal. I was bad once. Yeah. It was, but still exactly. If you get a ticket, it stays on your record, okay? I have to wait for that to dry. It's gonna take two layers. <laughs> I'm excited for my one year sub. I got a secret to tell. Wait, chatters, I have a new secret command. I updated it. Okay, now let's start coloring. 
Now, Cool Bobo has blue eyes. The secret is Mac. Is that my is my sister? No, that's not it. My sister doesn't even have a Twitch account. <laughs> Would be what? She doesn't support you. So sad. Okay, okay. When I was pre-affiliate, I didn't tell any of my friends to have a tab open. Because if I couldn't hold viewers on my own, then that's my fault. Right? So I, I didn't tell any of my friends, my family, to have a tab open. That's cheating. And you're not going to build an audience the right way. And look where I'm at now. I was talking to my fr with, about this with my friend. Um, the other night, and I was saying how with a channel my size, in terms of like viewer, live viewer count, and then how many people like actively chat or lurk, I have a significant amount of chatters compared to my viewer count. Because usually people who have like 10 viewers, usually like two people are chatting, but we usually have like, usually whatever my viewer count is, half of that is act actively chatting. And that's pretty good. I get that. I probably wouldn't want my family to watch either. Yeah, I talk a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of consistent viewers. That's because I have a fairly dedicated fan base that will watch most any stream I do because you have to develop your content in a way that's digestible and also... You have to get people to enjoy your commentary style because if you only play one game, then people are going to watch just that one form of gameplay. But if you do variety, it kind of encourages your audience to like your commentary and enjoy any type of content you do over time. Because, like, isn't it also kind of exciting to get a notification be like, oh, this is what they're doing today. Instead of, like, just expect, like, seeing their notification and then expecting them to, like, play League every stream or something. Um. So that's why starting off, in my opinion, variety is the better way to go, but it is a lot harder to build a base audience. Because since you don't have a consistent style of commentary then people, it's harder to like, get into it quickly. But because of that, you usually have a viewer base who is more, who likes you more, honestly. Even when I was busy, it was nice to see your, what you were up to in the stream titles. Thank you. I think my titles go crazy. They still haven't called me. What if they don't like me anymore? Mac, it, you're fine. You know, they're understaffed. Don't worry, you're fine. And they said after 2 p.m. Yeah, if you're worried, you can call them. And I think another thing that kind of helped with my, or building a core audience, is I didn't build my audience off of collaborations. Because collaborating will kill your channel. If you're small, if you're small. Because if you gain your following or your viewer count off of collabs and people will expect that all the time, and then in turn, they don't necessarily watch for you. And I think it's important to have, when you're small, 
to have like your own quote unquote community memes. Because like if all of your jokes are related to jokes that other personalities have made or um, uh, let's see I'm trying to find a good analogy. It, okay, you know how like um, like the OTV crew, they're all kind of in the same bubble. It's kind of like if you're in like a Saikuno stream and you're only making Valkyrie jokes. It's kind of like you need to have your own separate niche jokes. HD had an issue where their jokes were too niche. That is also an issue. That is also an issue. I think I saw clips of Ethan talking about that. But I think the HD podcast is still digestible for new viewers because they talk they talk about topical issues. So it's still like digestible to an extent. Even if they don't get all the jokes right away, they still might enjoy the content and the commentary. I want to eventually see you collab, but I know why it's unwise right now. Yeah. Because imagine, okay, imagine I collab with somebody who has, uh, let's say three times my viewer count, and then I gain, let's say, ten active viewers after that, and then those ten active viewers don't know the jokes that we have, and then they have their own jokes from their other community, and they bring it here, but then we don't get the jokes, it, it's kind of, it's not good. <laughs> Do we have anything niche in here? Um, not really. I think the only niche enough thing is like the Peace I Two Smile meta. Cause like, I'm just trying to think. But that one isn't too crazy. Yeah, I think I made Kobobo's hair way too light. This they're like blonde. And they're supposed to be like, ooh, that texture is nice. And they're supposed to be like a dirty blonde. Okay, the way I did that shape is pretty nice. Oh, you can't see it, it's way too light. Yeah, Kobobo's like a dirty blonde. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown. I think another thing to make your streams more inviting is to have like the chat jokes be Broad enough to where anyone would understand it. <laughs> Sorry, the W Riz tag. Did you just? I've had that tag for like two weeks now. <laughs> oh my god! How did you just notice that? I mean, did you guys not watch me play the dating stream? I was risen her up. Did we change the tag to Riz God? <gasps> Wait, I just noticed Batty has a sunflower badge. Ain't no way. Yeah, Batty's been sub for nine months. Dude, Batty is so fucking lucky. Ever since they can't sub with Prime, they've give they've been getting a gifted every month. They're such a lucky little shit. It's free. Yeah, it's it's not fair. I mean, Batty gets gifted all the time because they chat whenever they watch, so. They're just lucky, or he's lucky. Okay, this month, Kobobo's gonna have really blonde hair. We'll just say it's artsy. So I just went very light with this kind of, like, medium brown. It looks- it looks almost orange on camera. I hate that. It's not orange, I promise. 
I'm I'm not drawing Clint Stevens. Stop hooing Clint Stevens. Imagine watching other streams. I mean, you can watch other streams, just make sure you watch my stream whenever I go live. Stop hooing Clint! Stop. I don't know what to do for the background. Oh shit, I scraped it off. I think I want to do a black background. I'm trying to think of like what accent shapes I want to use though. <laughs> Clint is such a funny name, like why would you name your child Clint? I don't know if it's his real name. Do you guys assume that every personality online uses their real name? What if my name isn't actually Megan this whole time? I was actually lying. What if my name is like Sally? <laughs> what if your name is Coop? Okay, I'm thinking. I kind of want to do like rectangle shapes for some reason. I'll do it. I'll commit. Your name is Peason17. What do you mean exactly? That's my real name. I was thinking of something more bad. Should we preemptively ban Mac one day? Because I feel like they're going to say some crazy shit sometime. Yeah, I'm just going to do rectangles. Yeah, stop fucking with the dresser. Wait until maintenance can do something. Unless you have the tools. Yeah, Mac is gonna leak DMs on their one year sub anniversary. I have tools, I just know how to use them. I just don't know how to use them. I want to make a joke, but I can't. I can feel the joke, don't worry. Okay, good. I got some spicy DMs and they're from my friend. I'm not your friend. No matter what you think, no matter how many subs you donate, I will never be your friend. Unless...
I'm gonna do yellow. I don't know why, I'm just feeling- Oh, that yellow is way too bright. If I gift a million subs, will you be my friend then? Yeah, because then I'd have to make a Discord. So I guess that could work. Me when I answer the phone. Yellow. <laughs> That's so stupid. Okay, Nix, don't make jokes like that. That that is that could be considered TOS. So do not make jokes that are T H E A R. Wait, fuck. T H T H R E A T S. Even if they're kind of jokey, just don't make jokes like that. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of mellowing this yellow with a golden roddy orange. Oh wait, it's not like a sunflower yellow. Yeah, I know you're joking, but out of context, Twitch staff would not like it. And I don't want your account to get clapped since it's such an old account. Okay, that muted it a lot. That looks so much better now. Meg is calling me old. No. Okay, something I wanted to talk about is, can we stop calling me Megan or Meg? I, I don't, it's not that I hate it, it's just, I think I prefer to just use my online alias if possible for now. I, I think it's because I'm not at the point where like, I'm not able to separate stream from like, my normal personality. But um, I just think it'd be good for me mentally. No, don't say sorry. I haven't talked about it before. It's been something I've been wanting to talk about, and I'll bring it up during, like, a Mario Kart stream when we have more people. So. I, I just, I think it'd be good for me if I just used my alias. I think especially since um, I'm graduating soon and employers will be able to like look up my name and shit. Um, exclamation pronouns in chat if you want to see my pronouns and then dig name. That's why like I think I don't have any social media online that has my full name anywhere now I think. Just so no employer can like see any shit that I've posted. Not saying that. I will- I've posted bad things, but I saw this one person on TikTok say they got fired from their teaching job because on their TikTok they posted like themselves in like a- like a crop top and then they cursed and then drank alcohol on their TikTok. So it's just like, it sucks that so much of your personal life can affect your professional and I just want to avoid that at all costs. Cause dude, imagine I apply to like some smoothie shop and then they search my name and find my fucking Twitch channel. <laughs> That'd be so bad. So I, I think I don't have my full name public anywhere. Like I changed my Facebook name too, so. Employers can't find me there either. I don't think regular jobs do. I mean... I just don't want to risk it. Employers when people have lives? You know how people would get fired for like, posting about drinking? I wish people would get fired for like, being fucking racist. 
I'm like, you know how whenever people, like, post, like, a really crazy racist take and then they get, um, found? Like, their Facebook profiles get found and then people contact their workplace and stuff? Honestly, deserved. Okay, that's deserved. But it's like, why are people getting fired for, like, shit that doesn't matter? Stuff that doesn't indicate that they're actually, like, a very bad and hateful person. I don't get it. It's not like they're doing the, the quote-unquote bad things at work. They preach separation of work and life, but then complain when we do anything. Yep. I love society. My job does not care- Mac, you work at Dollar Tree. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> honestly. Honestly. But if I'm gonna get, like, a nice job as a designer, I can't be people finding clips of me saying fuck on YouTube, okay? Oh, and anytime you get a new social media app, disable the connect your contacts function. Because that's- oh shit. That's another way for employers to find your accounts, is when you connect your contacts. TikTok always asks me to connect contacts. Yeah, I get a pop of every time I log in. It's annoying. Okay, thoughts. I think the yellow is way too bright. I think I need to tone it down. It's literally way too bright. I'm gonna go over with this muted yellow. Okay, that is not helping. Oh, that's better. This is like a grayish yellow or a yellow gray. You can't really tell on camera, but it mutes it a little bit. Maybe what I could do to mute it is. Add some like cross hatching. I'll do that. Oh, that looks so much better. See? I did super close and then gradually further apart lines. See how that kind of dulls the top of the line a little bit? That looks so much better. I can see the difference from the bars here and here. Very subtle, but it works. Yeah, I don't- I literally get a pop-up every other time I log into the TikTok app being like, Oh, do you want to enable DMs? 
Or do you want to connect your contacts? And I press no every time, but it still suggests it to me. It's so annoying. <laughs> okay, hi, Nix. Hope you have a good day too, man. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, make sure you send me a picture too. That way you get your card next month. But I'm glad to see you again, man. There you go. I think this card is done. I know it's simple, but I think the background is nice. There we go. Okay, next card. Let's see. <sighs> I have four cards left. We're at... Because since Mac and Titans have three cards each, I'm, I'm not going to do them all today. Because that's just too much. Let's do Titans next because we haven't done any of his yet. I'll do this one. Okay, so this picture, Titans just sent me a picture of him lying down in his VR setup. So I think what I'm going to do is just keep him black and white, but then make the background fully colored. It's going to look like, you know, the Beat Saber um, patterns and shit. <laughs> there, it's just like a tiny spark. And the angle was like really fucking weird too. Because he's like laying flat. So the anatomy is like really fucked. Like it's, it's, the arm is so weird. VR trip me out. Trips me out. Makes me sick. I've never tried it, but I know I'll yet. So I'm just never going to do it. Oh my gosh, slap music. Okay, the hands are gonna be messed up. Guys, I'm in art school. What am I gonna say once I graduate though? I can't make the I'm in art school joke anymore. Wait, then I could say I have an art degree, but then. <laughs> but getting like an arts degree is like the <laughs> the silliest degree you can get. No, it's technically a, a it's technically a bachelor in science because it's graphic design. Even though like the only science classes I technically took were math and then one physics class. liberal arts <laughs> imagine see look his arm looks so fucked here but if you guys saw the original picture the anatomy is so wild like it makes his arms and legs look super long because his head is far away from the camera Okay, now time for the fun part.
Now, I have to figure out how to make a glowing effect. They do make dating sims for VR? No, I'm not... I don't have the capability to do a VR setup, I don't think. And if I do VR, then I wouldn't be able to read chat as well. And you guys would hate that. You guys hate when I ignore you guys. Type 1. I can't do outlines if I want to do like a fully glowy look with 2D. Wait, I kind of can. Never mind, I figured out kind of how I can do it. They're calling? Okay, bye, Mac. Good luck. Oh, wait, I just realized adding the black outline does ruin it. Well, too late now. I think what I'll do is I'll do flat colors, then I'll stipple the background. I'll do that. Damn it, that's a bummer. Because what I was going to do is, for example, if there was like a red glow, you do red and then you do a gradient from like red to white to mimic like a neon look. And then you do like a super saturated like red pink in the middle. I uh, will see if I can mimic that to some extent. Dude, that line is so straight. If you see that, you'd think that's a ruler, huh? Dude, that's genuinely? Holy. I don't need no ruler.
It almost looks like staircases. One more line. Also, about the referring to me as Peason, if somebody still calls me Meg or Megan, it's fine, because I haven't addressed it fully yet. So don't like. I just realized I broke a nail. I have to fix that in a second. But don't like, don't call out other chatters. Don't be mean about it. Okay, I'm gonna. I have to. I have to fix my nail. I have to mute. I have to mute. I'm back. I promised I used nail clippers. I did not bite my nail off. Because that doesn't work. <laughs> okay. okay, did anybody watch XQC's Lover Host yesterday? I watched a little bit. Like, I was popping in and out of the stream. Because I feel like the type of, like, Lover Host stream content is, like, way too long. Even though this past one was, like, short in comparison to other versions of the show, like, it was still fucking long. Um, but I was, like, I was so happy to picture Emily won. Because I think she's my favorite out of everybody who was, like, a participant. Because I think the appeal to, um, extra Emily streams, even though, like, she's kind of cringe, okay, like, she's way too happy, it's, it's, her streams are, like, feel-good content. Like, you can't help but, like, enjoy the time that you spend in her streams. Because she's so, like, positive. Like, oh my god, I was watching her, um, Nintendo Land IRL she did. And I was watching it with my sister because she wants to plan a trip for later this year. It's so cute. Because even though my sister had never, like, heard of her or anything, she immediately liked her vibe. Welcome back, Mac. Okay, I think the main colors for Beat Saber is like this Eeyore blue. And then red. And then blue. Well, good luck, Mac. I'm glad you're taking that step for yourself. I'm not gonna say I'm proud of you, because that's cringe. But I hope it goes well for you.
<laughs> I knew you were gonna smile. <laughs> Okay, so what I did is I went very lightly with a red, and then I'm going to do magenta near the center, and then I'm going to blend to see if I can kind of get like a neon-y look. If not, it's fine. It's just going to look like ass. I have to get my blending pencil. So Prismacolor also has these blending color pencils. They're basically just clear colorless wax. You see, look, it's, it's clear, but then you can use them to blend out your colors without having to layer. Okay, that does not... That looks stupid. <laughs> it looks... Okay, that did not come out how I wanted it to. <laughs> uh, okay, well, these are just gonna be solid fill then. Shit. Because, like, I know how to make, like, neon light effects in, like, digital art, but traditional, it's, it's so difficult. <laughs> it's a waste of time. <laughs> I think the reason why it's a lot harder to render neon type aesthetics with traditional is because neon light is so, like, man-made. So you're like, you don't really see it in nature, so it's very hard for your brain to kind of, like, understand how that type of lighting works. My sister shut my laptop and I came back to it saying I sent something and it was automated. <laughs> what? What did you- There's no automated message you're trolling. Your last message was peace I to pray, so you're trolling. You're, you're using like the unbanned request excuse where my brother was using my laptop, that's why he said a slur. <laughs> that's literally what you sound like right now. maybe your UK Twitch servers are just horrible. Why well, having so many issues today, man? I feel like Twitch always has server issues, though. Especially on Twitch mobile, it's so bad. 
Okay. I got very tired suddenly. Let's see. Um, I have four cards left. Titans and Mac. I think I'll do one more card after this one. Wait! It's three hours into stream, so you know what time it is. It's time for me to run a mother freaking ad. So if you want to avoid that ad, all you gotta do is subscribe for Fortnite 9 just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get out of reviewing all month long. Or you can link Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe. See if you have a Prime sub available. After the ad, we'll keep drawing. Oh, I might do one more card. I might not. I'll see. But get some water, get a snack. We'll see some of you guys in a few. I suddenly just got really tired. I need this. I wish... I could choose the days where I can't fucking move. <laughs> well, I haven't finished my protein shake yet. Like, I wish I could be like, my body clock would be like, okay, on Mondays and Tuesdays, it's gonna be really bad. But on every other day of the week, you're gonna do great. Same with my brain, yeah. It, it's like, some days I feel like I'm really smart, and then some days I feel fucking dumb. Sorry, I'm, I'm resting. I just wish, like, doctors could, like, figure out what is wrong with you, like, immediately. Like, the rich people can pay to, like, skip the line or see specialists sooner. Like, it- why can't we do that for poor people, too? Like, if I could have gotten an MRI eight months ago when I initially went for my doctor's- like, checkup visit, like, consultation thing. Imagine, like, how much further ahead I could be in, like, potential recovery or healing. It's like... I, I fucking hate the American healthcare system. It, it's so fucking stupid. Anyway, break time's over. Back to work. No more trauma dumping. Trauma dumping over. Back to work. <clears throat> what I do like about these blending pencils, though, is that it makes the colors more saturated almost when you're fully able to blend them out and get full coverage for the pigment on your paper.
I think the most fun part so far of the art website and getting my painting stuff ready, because since I'm using house paint, I can fully choose and customize whatever color pigments and mixing I get. Okay, for comparison, these two sections have the blending pencil, and then these don't. You can kind of see it's very subtle, but there's a lot more full coverage on the blended sections. It also looks brighter because it has more coverage. But anyway, so like I was looking at like... Because they have like digital markups of whatever color paint you're getting. And it's nice because then you're going to get like consistently mixed colors. So I don't have to mix colors every time I paint. It's going to save so much time. That way, if I ever have to make like... Okay, let's say Megan is big famous artist and I get commissioned to do like paintings for a hotel or something and I have to make like 50 units. I could easily order whatever paint I need and get like the color in bulk. And I think that's so cool. That's so cool! So the other day I was ordering paint because like the... Oh, you guys can probably- I can show you on this camera. I honestly fucked up the- this painting. I didn't like mess it up fully, but... Oh, that's really zoomed in. Um... But, these colors, they're just two layers, and it's- Let me zoom out. No feet. Um, the colors are fully opaque at two layers. This is only one layer of black, because I, I have to add more varnish. But, because I, I tested to see how the varnish reacts to the house paint. Because see that shine? And it, it did like... You know how on some surfaces water will kind of bead? It kind of did that, but I just had to put really thin layers. And the what's super nice too is that the varnish does not look cloudy as compared to on top of acrylic paint. And the varnish is like a very smooth finish. So it reacts well to the house paint, which I was very pleasantly surprised with. But just so you can see, like see, I didn't put varnish on the inner parts because I forgot, so I painted out of order. Um, but yeah. Because I didn't want to order, because I had to order black and then rainbow. So that was like $50 worth of paint, and then for the other paintings I had to color a swatch and stuff in order. But, so I didn't want to order like $200 worth of paint and it not work. <laughs> but this looks beautiful. And what's super nice is that the paint is fully matte. So you can't necessarily see all the brush strokes, but you can still feel the texture of the paint, I guess. So, yeah, that's what I've been working on the past week. Just testing out... How the varnish reacts to the house paint how much like varnish you can put on it for layering how many layers of actual paint you can use for it to still look adequate and good oops <laughs> no free feet <laughs> oh that was close Because the issue with varnish sometimes is if you layer it on too thick without each coat drying in between, it'll make your work look cloudy, it'll become uneven, or it could like melt in the postage because if you paint layers and it's not fully dry, it's not going to fully set, so it could like smear or literally melt in the mail. But thankfully, I got decent coverage with just one layer, so I don't have to worry about that. I 
I think a, I need to write this topic down for a Mario Kart stream. But I think a lot of people don't like modern art. Like, you know the paint trip works? You'll see. A lot of people don't like them. But I think the main appeal to that type of work is its ability to be replicated. Because when you're random, okay, theoretically, randomly placing art into a canvas or like splattering it on, that is very hard to replicate without printing it or making copies 2D instead of like repainting it. So I think that's why some of those paintings can be sold for so much. Well, it's honestly props to them. Yeah, those types of videos where they hang a can from the ceiling or... Yeah, that type of thing. Or where they, like the paint pours is another popular one. Even though those require... I think those require less skill, but they still require some aspect of craftsmanship. Because you still have to like mix your paints in a certain way. You have to like add thinners, that type of thing. So there is some element of skill. Oh wait, no. Of craftsmanship. Because to me, skill is developed over time. But craftsmanship is the ability to do something. And like the tools and supplies. Yeah, I think this one is done. I just have to fill in the background black. I should do that in my garage. Yeah, do that on TikTok lives. You'll get so much money. But like I said, the biggest appeal to that style of artwork is its ability to be copied. Because rendering that by hand would be difficult, and mimicking that using the same technique, like the can from a ceiling, would be very difficult, because you're not going to get the same strokes or the paths every time. And I, I just think it's interesting because I was thinking about it the other day because like a lot of my pieces are able to be replicated because <laughs> the designs aren't like fully shaded or rendered. They're based on the actual design. Like the shape and the form in which it holds. So I guess my appeal is opposite to that. And I was, like, kind of worried about how people will be receptive to receiving, like, replicas. But if you think about it, it's still technically an original. It's still, like, a fully fleshed painting. It's not, like, a 2D print. Because I was looking up, like, art blog posts on people's opinions on, like, replicas and stuff. And a lot of the consensus in the art scene is like, you know, as long as it's, like, as good, if not better, than the original, then it's fine. I was like, okay, that's good. Because using the stencils, because I've made stencils for all of my paintings that have, like, 2D designs that I can easily... Because I made them into vector images, and then I cut them out using my Cricut. That way I can get a uniform stencil for everything. That way every replica would be basically guaranteed to be the same. That way no one person would have a painting that's drastically different from another version or replica. Not saying that I'll never sell prints, because I think some form of art media would do well through prints. But I think for my desired look or aesthetic with the mica powder chrome, it would have to be replicas. Because I was look I was looking at like how to get foil prints or like the chrome prints. And a lot of the chrome prints it would be very hard to do it on top of a color. Because when you get like a chrome print, like if you get a poster or something, it's not like glitter. Because the mica powder is essentially very, very fine glitter. 
but when you get like a chrome print, it's kind of like you're looking at a plastic film. Or it's kind of like if you look at like a gas spill on the road. You know how when you look at puddles and they sometimes have that like kind of swirly rainbow thing? That's what a lot of chrome sheet prints look like. And it's not the look I like. I like the look of the mica powder. Because <laughs> a lot of the um, chrome prints you can get are like iridescent. Which I think is too uniform of a look. That I don't necessarily like. And the chrome drastically affects the color of what it's on top of. When I feel like the mica powders are a lot more subtle and you can still basically fully see the color underneath. Because when I was initially thinking of the idea of how to do like the glitter varnish, like I was looking up like chrome prints and stuff just to see like what that process would look like. And I don't like it as much. And it's also getting that type of print is expensive. Because you can't just submit like a 2D image, you'd have to submit probably different file types because the chrome would be on different parts of your piece so you'd have to probably send like the base image and then like another file with just the pieces that have chrome on it because essentially how they make those chrome prints if it's like like let's say they have somebody's name written out and they only want chrome on the name they have to like basically imagine like a cricket cutter but then it cuts like the chrome film or no, I think it's either heat press. Wait, I've seen some like foil film and it's like a heat press onto the paper. I think that's what it is. That has to be the same for the chrome. I have to look it up. I think it's a heat press. Because like when you print something from your printer, that's a he it, it heats the ink and then it stamps it on the paper essentially. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Okay, Titan's arms are gonna look <laughs> fucked, okay? It's too late. His arms are broken because he's been in VR for so long. Uh, okay, I think this is gonna be my, my last card for today. I can feel myself crashing. <laughs> mm. But at least I got one of everybody's cards. That was my goal today. Oh my god, slap music. I think this one's done. I know it's simpler, but I think I like the look of the white against the fully colored background. Even though if it's simple, if I could figure out how to do like a neon look with color pencil, that'd go crazy. I'll figure it out. 
Did I do one more card? I, I kind of want to do this one. No, I, I, no, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'll, I'll just do like simple black liner like I did for Max other card, but that's still gonna take like 40 minutes. I'm done. I'm done. But stream is not over yet, everybody, because let's do a quick review of what we did today. By we, I mean me. I did all the work. Okay, don't show feet. Oh, shit. <laughs> Thank you, Mac, for redeeming. Okay, so to to Jay. We'll get to the remaining cards in the upcoming one, so don't worry. I will never scam. Today, oh, it's still really zoomed in. Oh, no free feeds. Okay, <laughs> this works. I just I just can't move my feet back. Today we updated the follower calligraphy journal. I'll post these on Twitter later. I can't believe it still took an hour <laughs> to do those. Wait, I just realized I did Koboba's glasses wrong. I didn't add the handles. There we go. And then we did four portrait cards. At least one for everybody this month. We had... Phelan. Titans. Mac. I think this one looked cool. I like the stylized ones, honestly. And then Cole Bobo. I think this one is pretty clean. So I, I will post these on Twitter later today. Or maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I might just go straight to sleep. <laughs> so once again, thank you to everybody who donated during the month of February. Thank you for everybody who was eligible for a card helping support the channel. I will be able to mail out the card soon. So like I said, once I'm able to mail them, because I have to get stamps and shit, um, once I'm able to mail them, I will post on Twitter, so follow my Twitter, that way you'll get updated about it. And I will be able to mail them internationally, because sending a letter only costs like two bucks max, so... I'm gonna take a pic of my portrait cards, it's so cute. If you- once you guys get the cards, post on Twitter, at me. You know, I gotta get that re Ew, you can see my hands moving under the table. I just did a thumbs up, but you can't see. Okay, let's do Euler Calligraphy. Um, you guys know the drill. If you donate to the channel, I'll write your name. Holy moly. Oh, wait! We had so many gifted subs last month, I gotta eat a chocolate. Thank you, everybody who gifted last month. Plus one. Also, plus one pound, because I'm heavy.
We had Keelan with a two month resub. And then NYX with a nine month, they have earned their flower badge in chat. I should have made the flower badge a year sub now that I think about it. SMH. Okay, so I'll post this on Twitter if I remember. <laughs> now we can do channel point names. So you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. We had two people redeem. Or Mac twice, but that still counts as two. I'll do evergreen for the second color. Okay, chatters, this is our last name of the day. So if you want me to write your name, all I gotta do is use your channel points. Dude, I love tone bows. You can see, like, the... With shift is so much better than these Cali arts. Like the thick to thin is crazy. <clears throat> okay, chatters, let's go. You got five, four, three, two. <laughs> Thank you, Keelan. Let's do, let's do orange. Or it's like a red orange. Get done easy. Ooh, it looks like bright red on camera. Oh, I forgot, because I use a color filter. That just increases the saturation. Thank you for redeeming, Bo Bo Bo. Um, let's do a medium green. Oh, this green is busted, I forgot. This is a really pretty, like, blue-green. Okay, last call. Anybody else want me to write their name? Use your channel points. Last call. You 
got five, four, three, two. One. And we're done, everybody. We're done. Um, I would like to thank everybody for watching. Any chatters or lurkers, thank you everybody for hanging out today. We got so much done. Um, if you want to card yourself, all you have to do is gift a total of five subs to the channel by the end of March, and it will be drawn in April. Um, I will be live. I'm going to try and stream more this week. I'll try. Um, so plan, if everything goes according to plan, is Omori tomorrow, maybe calligraphy on the art channel. It's tagged in my title. Go follow, please. Maybe art or calligraphy on Wednesday. Um, Thursday and Friday, I for sure will be live. For sure. Because Thursday is the new wave of Mario Kart. Blind reaction. No spoilers. I haven't seen anything online. And then Friday is Mario Day. Ain't no way. <laughs> so we got a loaded week of stream. Make sure you have notifications turned on. That way you don't miss a single one. I'll see you guys later. Before I go, please make sure... If you are a real fan, follow the channel. And if you're even... <laughs> and if you're an even realer fan, you'll follow my Twitter. Okay, that's all. I'll see you guys later. Thank you once again to Nyx and Keelan for resubscribing. Thank you. Dude, I'm so fucking... Well, I gotta run an ad. For the non-subs. Dude, I'm so tired. Have a nice rest of your day. Thank you, Chip. Thank you. Also, good luck with your new job, man. Wait, I just realized Chip isn't a sub, so they can't hear. Oh, no. Crazy how it's been a month already? I know, it's gone by so quickly. I feel like February... Okay, honestly, honestly. February was shit. It was shit. Like, the streams were really fun, but probably the worst fucking month of my life. Mentally, but I'm fine now. I'm I'm fine. But it's just like, jeez. Oh, wait, February is also the shortest month of the year. So maybe that's why it felt like it went by so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get some rest. Maybe I need a snack. I do have some cashews in my room. Okay, I think I'll end it here. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Saying hi instead of bye is so funny to me. <laughs> okay, bye for real. I mean, hi. <laughs>